So recently I conducted a rollerblading trip, 1.6 miles or a mile and a half, whatever you want to call it. It took about 12 minutes or 15 minutes if you round up. And despite the yahoos out there, I didn't suffer any falls or any bruises. Another successful trip. It took roughly about 40 minutes. I spent about 15 minutes inside the stores, and then I took a 10 minute lap around the park. That's one nice thing about being car free, is you just don't get in your car and drive back to your house. You see a park, and you say, hey, sounds like a lot of fun. Let's go over there and do that. So to me, you, I see a lot more opportunities and a little bit more motivation to actually go out and do those things. This mall is dying. Yeah, I'm not sure why. It's got a park. It's got good access. It's just dying. There are a lot of parking spots that can create some havoc trying to actually get to the mall. But on the other side, it's a little bit easier. One thing they do allow here is they allow access to the back via some entranceways. And that will lead to a park. I'm not real sure the reason for this outside sidewalk and an inside sidewalk. Six months out of the year, it's really freezing. And if I really want to walk outside, wouldn't I just walk out to the park? So I'm not sure why this is here, but they do have one. Just in case someone like me would like to use it. But I prefer to use the street. As you can see, I have to go around these canisters and things, and it's not very fun. There are two exits back across Broadway, and you're going to see that exit coming up real quick. It's over there. It's called Bass Lake Road and Broadway, and it's not very fun. So I'll go back to the other crossing that just crossed. Of course, I don't want to go back the same way I came because that's rather boring. So I'm going to take the rear exit and go to the park. Um, there's no benches here either on the outside sidewalk, so I'm not sure why the outside sidewalk is really serving. Uh, it would be nice to actually sit down here and take my shoes off, or my rollerblades off, but I've got practice. So I'll go to the record store, I'll get some, some things, and we'll head to the park. Okay, this may be the long way around things, but it actually does a loop to the road that I'm going to actually use to cross. So maybe a little bit of an effort and a little bit more scenic and definitely a lot more funner. So I just decided to use this. It's funny how things work out that way. Sometimes the the least way to the path of least resistance is just simply find another way. So I'll come up to, the, it was about a 10 minute loop, come up on to the road that I'm actually going to want to use to cross, and I'm good to go. As you can see, there's no stop sign here, so they're just going to floor it. And yes, luckily someone did stop for me, so that was nice of them. And continue on now using the sidewalk, because motors love when you use the sidewalk. And they always put signs in it the way, and that's always lovely. And now we'll come up to our green light, and again, someone's waiting for us to cross. That's nice. And oh, how lovely they got rid of the sidewalks. So now we can just ride on the road. And we'll go through this parking lot here. I'm in headed to the food palace. I'm choosing pizza today. It's 
you can see, people actually use the sidewalks, so it's not necessarily always a nice thing to use. Plus, it has things like, well, fences. As you saw there. Of course, this doesn't stop this person from being really anal and just... And we'll go to the food palace. Do a swap out. And we got a food. I'm pretty happy. Got something neat for today and tomorrow. And now we'll head home. Not too much, not too exciting, but it was definitely a whole lot funner than using a car. And I can imagine probably the same amount of time, considering you'd have to go and park at all these places. That, and you wouldn't have gotten a nice loop around the park either. So there you have it the rollerblading trip, successful, 1.6 miles, roughly 15 minutes. Not hard. Simply get on your wheels and go. That's how we do it. And, well, one nice thing about this parking lot, as you can see, how many people that do not park way out here. Not sure why that it, they need to have parking spaces. But they did add a sidewalk here that connects the neighborhood to the actual mall. One of these, you'd think that would be rather simple. You'd think, hey, there's a bunch of people over here that want to buy things. 